Here's a home built in Michigan in a wooded area. And here in Michigan, we do have damp environment uh, and humidity. So this home here was built in 1979. However, in 1970s and 80s, there was not a proper code compliance for the drywall thickness that is used on the ceilings. And I'm gonna show you some issues on the interior here. So once in a while, I'll come across a home in this generation that uh, has improper thickness of drywall day one when it was built. Now here, everything's been updated and renovated and you can see that the ceiling looks uh, nice because it's a flat white. And even if I shut the lights off, it looks fine also. Okay, lights are off. And you can see with no lighting, you have that flat white up there and it looks fine. However, by using a flashlight um, and shining it, Horizontally with the ceiling it starts to reveal the imperfection in the ceiling areas So when somebody came and did a lot of this renovation, they did not do The mudding and the sanding very well, and it's going to show a lot of areas that are sagging and um, Improper mud application, so that's the kitchen obviously Now as we go into the living room area very large Large, large area. So once again, looking at this horizontally, you can start to see rippling in there. So here, light is out. Looks pretty decent. Once you start shine that light up there, you can now start to see the sagging of the drywall you know, and a lot of times when I do get the capability of measuring the thickness of this, it's typically like three-eighths of an inch. It's very thin material. And with humidity down in the basement areas over decades, you'll never know which year was the worst year and did they use dehumidifiers down below. But that humidity can compromise the drywall on the ceilings. Let's take a look at another area. Okay, here's that vaulted ceiling once again. And now you can start to see a different view. Okay, so this bedroom here, once again, it looks pretty decent. Let's shine that light on there. And now you're just looking at the sagging ceiling. And here you can actually see the, the nails that are kind of dimpled in that drywall. There's another spot over here where it's really prominent. See, look at that. Dimpled right in there. Master bedroom area. Once again, looking at the ceiling. No lights. Flat white paint. Shine that light on there. And now you've got drywall that's compromised. And whoever did the drywall mudding did not do a very good job. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, now here's a bathroom. And this is interesting because now you'll start to see what the original structure looked like. So there probably was a wall here um, above the shower. There was probably a, a different um, insert kit that was here, but you come over this way. Now you can start to see where there was probably a bulkhead above that mirror. Take the light off, you don't see anything. Turn the lights on, you still don't see anything. Let's take a look at another room. Okay, this bedroom in the basement probably was the worst, I would say. So let's go ahead and turn the light on. Can't really tell much. Turn the light off. Let's shine that light on there. And now you have some offsetting on the drywall. Not a very good uh, drywall repair. But day one, there was issues. And uh, if you're buying a home built in the 70s and 80s, 1980s, just remember the ceilings, at least here in Michigan, did not have 
a code, so to speak, of the thickness of that drywall. And this is where I find a lot of common problems in that timeline generation.